Good morning. It is Monday, April the 20th, and we are gathered as God's people this day to read God's Word to us and to pray together. This is a season following Easter when uh, we celebrate the good news of the resurrection. And what that looks like is new life in Christ. And so this season, as a church, we'll be exploring the fruits of the Spirit, which are found in Galatians 5, Paul's letter to the church at Galatia. Let me give you a little context as this week we focus on peace. This is a, a passage really about freedom in Christ. And these days we're hearing a lot about freedoms, the freedom to leave our home, the freedoms that feel limited to some of us, um, but that freedom is so that we might love one another, according to Paul. He writes this, the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. Faith expressing itself through love. That's what true freedom looks like. Now they were arguing in the church in Galatia over circumcision. So the Jewish believers who came to follow Christ were arguing that these new Christians who were Gentiles needed to be circumcised to be truly faithful. And Paul is explaining, no, you are now in Christ and the law no longer um, has sway over you as much as the Spirit. And so he describes what uh, life in the Spirit looks like and what life without the Spirit looks like. Some of the fruits of life in sin look like idolatry, um, selfish ambition, factions, and envy. Do you see any of that in our world today? He says, the fruit of the Spirit looks like this. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. What of those fruits of the Spirit do you need to ask God to, to, to bring into your life this day? Listen again to that list. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now this week we'll be exploring peace, the gift of peace. But just for now, just ponder that in your heart and ask God for what you need this day. That our lives may be a display of that Easter resurrection joy peace, patience, love, gentleness, kindness, faithfulness um, to others and to the world, and that it all might be done in service to love. Will you pray with me? Loving God, you sent Christ among us to show us your ways, to show us the fruit of a good life of righteousness that life living in your spirit, dwelling close to you, and seeking to respond to Christ is one which shows these fruits. We ask for, the, for you to forgive us of the things that keep us from displaying those fruits in the world, those things that hold us back, those um, marks of sin. We confess to you how we are drawn to those things as human beings who are broken and um, limited. But you, O oh Lord, are powerful and merciful, and you dwell in us through the power of your Holy Spirit. So make us today a vessel, a vessel of your peace to all those we meet and encounter. Dwell in us as we dwell in you. For Christ's sake, amen. See you again tomorrow.